welcome back to the second episode of talk with us this is namrita my name is suma and first and foremost we would like to thank, thank you, you for all the love and support that you have given us for our previous video even though the last episode was about love yourself but you guys showered so much love to us thank you so much for that so suma what's the topic for today today's topic is how to get rid of stress and depression so we start with a small saying Sometimes the worst place you can be is in your own head. But a disclaimer before we start the video. We are not here to trivialize the mental state of any individual. We are just scratching the surface of this disease which affects the real mental health of young kids and adults. So guys, let's talk about depression. Depression is like any other disease which needs to be treated. It does not have any particular reason that you go into depression, nor it is temporary or a particular period of stress, anxiety or disencouragement that an individual goes through. So we are not here to talk about any particular stress like when you lose your job or you are stressed about your relationship, nothing like that. We are just going to talk about a overall depression. So let's start with the symptoms. So the first symptom is sleeping pattern. So basically some people sleep more, some people sleep less. The people who sleep more is usually they sleep on the daytime because their brain is still working. They still have these thoughts of negative things in their mind keeps going and then they, they don't want to face them. So they sleep. They think sleeping is one of the way they can avoid all these things. Namrata, why don't you tell us more about the symptoms? Uh, the other symptoms mostly are lack of appetite. Sometimes people eat more or people eat less to get rid of the negativity in their life. Their focus goes towards the food. Okay. Otherwise, other than that, there are low motivation. People have less self-esteem. They are less motivated to do work. Moreover, they also get panic attacks. Okay. They might have anger outbursts. during any time of the day or even for every small reason they might just react in a negative manner okay the concentration level of people go low they don't want to work they can't concentrate in the work that they are doing so basically that is what holds them back and it brings about more negative thoughts in their mind and one of the worst symptoms faced by individuals are recurrent thought of deaths and suicidal attacks which affects their mental state in the worst manner possible so that means that these all things affect your health issue also right so basically it start from depression but then it also affect your physical health so we all need to take care of ourselves love yourself so although you might be having some symptoms of depression we will be sharing some positive coping skills that might help you the first one we start with be talking to people whom you trust Actually it's very important to talk to people who you trust because not everyone can understand your situation they might make fun of you and they might compare you with themselves that they might not take the thing in very serious way so for example if i have any kind of stress i will always go to namrita she's my go to person for that thank, thank you, so you so much, much. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever i go to her the best thing i love about her is she will never tell me that suma it's going to be okay that time will heal everything because somehow i also know time will heal everything but at that moment i need someone to talk with to share my feeling and to get some advice and she always does that she always comes to me and tell me that suma you can do this you can do that and she will never compare my situation with herself she will never tell me that oh i have been through that i never get stress stress it out so that's the best thing we should always go to people who you trust and who you think that they will never judge you thank you suma for your kind words uh, i just want to say that you should always listen to people when they come to you don't discount their feelings okay and it it is not a temporary thing that people are going mm. through it is a it is an another form or another level of stress and anxiety that somebody is going through it is not just something that you say it will you'll just snap out of it so give them time give them the space and they'll be fine but you know namrita there are some kind of people who don't have someone to trust or maybe they have someone to trust but then they don't want to share that kind of uh the stress they are going through right because there are so many kind of depression as we said we don't know particular what is their reason for going through depression so in that point when you don't have someone to talk with and you don't want to talk with someone else 
like the person you are around what do you think what they should do I know there are many a time people don't have friends or they don't have family members whom they can trust or they can confide into. I think the best is to take uh, medical help, go to a medical advisor, go to a counselor, a psychiatrist, and it's like a therapy talking to them. Okay, they will tailor made the solution for you for your problems. They will understand your feelings. They will try to help you out in whatever manner possible, and uh, you you will feel better talking to them. So it is always better to go and seek some medical advice whenever required. Very good point. But do you know that some people think that if they seek some medical advice, people they are being ashamed of going to uh, the medical advisor because they think that people will call them mental or they will be uh, they will be judged by the people around them. I know people uh, always think that if you go to um, uh, a psychiatrist, what will others think? You need to think about your own mental well-being, and then think about what others are gonna say. And you know, Suma, uh, depression is like any other form of disease. It is not to be looked down upon, and it needs to get treated and be uh, thought about it in any other manner. So don't judge anyone who are going through such form of emotions in their life. Yes, don't take it lightly because you don't know what is the other person going through. It can be a big depression for them. It can be a small issue. Just don't compare. Let them be in that moment. So Namrita, you know, not many people are really uh, going through depression because when we say depression, depression is like a serious form of stress, right? So some people are going through stress, like a weak stress. Uh, two weeks or one to do day, two day. So they won't go to people because they don't have that much big problem to share, or they won't seek medical advice. So in that case, what do you think? Like, what will you advise to our audience? What they should do about this? I think one should engage in activities that will uplift your mood. That might be singing, dancing, exercising, just walking around, uh, cooking, and uh, you might just do just express yourself in any form it might even be writing okay writing drawing doodling just uh, meet people whom you uh, feel good about who make you happy who make you comfortable so do activities that uplift your mood that will make you feel better and express yourself don't think about anybody else judging you or thinking why are you doing this do whatever you feel like doing there is nothing wrong about it Yes, because when you are doing something you love, actually you are making yourself busy and then you don't have those negative thoughts going in your mind. So you are occupied by the things you are loving to do. So that's actually a great way to deal with yes. stress and depression. And other than that, I also know that when you work out, like when you do some yoga meditation, it actually helps you to be peaceful your mind is very peaceful you can do it before you sleep or anytime anywhere you like it and also I think one should make some small goals some achievable goals it is not important to have a uh, long-term goals in life have small goals in life which you will be able to achieve this will give you a sense of encouragement this will give you a sense of accomplishment that you have achieved something and it will motivate you in some manner mm -hmm. so the negative thoughts will automatically reduce and they will try to dry down and you might start feeling better about yourself and that will give you a push in your life that you should do more you should have more goals in your life so always have small achievable goals in your life and also Namrita the last one I think it's about be in that moment as you always Same. told me that Suma be in that moment because so many of us we always worried about our past uh, when we did some mistakes right we keep on thinking about those things and we are always worrying about our future but you should always remember that yesterday is gone and then tomorrow is not yet here so live in that moment enjoy that moment and be happy yes it's all about being mindfulness right stay in present present is a gift which God has given us why worry about future or why worry about the past which is already gone we can't change it we right? can't change. and uh, for the future we can't see it so always be in present, encourage yourself, motivate yourself. One day hopefully everything will be fine and you will feel much better in your life. And because of this COVID-19, we all know that so many people are out there are stressing about everything. So we just want to say that smile 
to everyone you see around you because you might don't know that smile might change other people's day so smile make other people happy by just doing those small things stop comparing yourself with others comparing yourself with others is your biggest weakness and others strongest strength okay believe in yourself be positive be helpful and be good to yourself okay everything is in your mind you need to relax you need to stay positive and you need to be healthy a healthy mind leads to a healthy life let's end it on a positive note so stop hating yourself for what you are and start loving yourself for what you are and whatever you have in your life we hope that this video will be helpful for all the people out there and thank you so much once again guys for showing us so much love on our last video uh, please do like share and comment on our video and also subscribe to our youtube channel and guys don't forget to hit the bell icon and get all the notification as soon as we upload the video before ending the video, we just like to say, be happy, stay healthy. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.